Now, space junk, bits of old rockets and discarded satellites have become such a menace in Earth's orbit that experts are suggesting the time has come to clean it up. This image was produced by NASA in 1989 to represent all the space debris uh, as uh, it knew about at the time. Now it's even worse, though. The U.S. National Research Council has found that thousands of pieces of debris, some traveling at more than 17,000 kilometers an hour, have become a major hazard to satellites. They could damage vessels that carry astronauts, such as the International Space Station, magnetic nets, huge umbrellas, and other ideas have been proposed as solutions. Uh, joining us now is uh, Dr. Robert Massey from the Royal Astronomical Society. Thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. I mean, that was an image from you know, decades ago. 20 How years bad ago, is it 22 now? years ago. Well, worse. I mean, bluntly, we've been carrying on launching things. We're launching more things. And uh, every time you launch something into space, you generate a certain amount of debris. Now, the real problem is that we need to find an effective way both of cleaning it up and actually I also think of preventing this stuff in the first place. Um, it wasn't helped uh, as it happens four years ago when the Chinese took the decision to deliberately destroy a satellite to, to prove that they could do so and that just added to the problem. Those kind of things don't help at all. So, so what sort of solutions? An umbrella, a sieve, people have suggested? It's, it's all quite exotic. I mean, you know, this is, this is relatively untested technology. I mean, you can try these things out on Earth, but, but you know, there's no sort of large-scale testing that's gone on in space yet. Um, at the moment, most of the time, it's about moving things out of the way if you know a big object is coming, or uh, in you know a few months, a couple of months ago, actually taking the step of evacuating the space station just to because they thought that there was a small risk mm. of a collision. So um, it's largely metallic, isn't it? So ma I know magnets have been suggested as a way of bringing them, bringing the objects yep. in. <laughs> I mean, all of these things should be on the table. I mean, one, one of the the things to understand is that you're dealing with quite a large volume now on one hand that's good because if you've got a large volume it means that actually even if there's a lot of debris chances are you miss it most of the time on the other hand it makes more difficult makes it more difficult to clean it up because there's a bigger volume to cover it's uh, you know it's not as simple as just imagining everything is in some very tiny bell unfortunately it's much more distributed than but that. what's your suggestion then to to take it out of orbit and send it further into space or to bring it back down well, I mean, lo logically, I guess, in a sense, you want stuff to burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. Sending it higher up needs a lot of energy. It's, mu it, it's not always very practical to do that with small things. And if you wait long enough, actually, a lot of it will fall back to Earth anyway. Now, that might sound a bit alarming, but I should stress that many of these objects, even the most dangerous ones, actually, are rather small. They'll burn up harmlessly in the Earth's atmosphere. But the, the real issue is that you've got to stop generating the stuff in the first place, find ways to make space launches a bit cleaner, actually, and certainly not do anything as irresponsible as deliberately destroying a satellite and really adding to the problem. And is there a body that's responsible for this? Because who takes charge of it? The Americans, the Chinese? Well, uh, you know, any oversight isn't, isn't really working in the sense that the Chinese did their deliberate decision, you know, took yes. the decision to destroy a satellite. Uh, so I'm afraid it looks like it's down to individual nations and agencies, and perhaps you ought to have a stronger international agreement on the table, something that really sets out to control the problem. It's not just a, you know, this isn't a scientific issue alone. This is about communication satellites, weather satellites, environmental monitoring, all the things we really have come to depend on. And if you make low Earth orbit a hazardous environment to launch these really quite vital satellites into... We're all then, in then, trouble. Well, it's, it's an issue for us, certainly. I mean, okay. you know, you, the, the risks are too high to ignore.